Today on this episode, I will show you how I modify this CRF250 rally into an off-road beast. Back to the topic. My friend Sinan came, he bought this uh, second-hand rally. Um, we went to the Mayong Song Loop and another friend, he rented a CRF uh, 250L, uh, but it was not well maintained and halfway in the trip it started making weird engine noises and he decided to not take the risk and we drove back. So we didn't make it to the Mayong Song Loop. They went back because they had to do business up in uh, Europe again but Sinan left me the rally here he said take care of this baby for me of course I will um, but it was like kind of street tires on it and it was not really a pleasure to drive with the stock gearing on it so I changed the gearing from a 14 tooth in the front and a 40 tooth in the back I spent a little bit money but I got a 13 tooth in the front and a 42 tooth in the back so it have a bit more pulling power so it's not so boring anymore um, and I had a pipe lying around here from a 250 uh, CRF and it apparently fits on the 250L, the 250 Rally, the 300L and the 300 Rally so it's like the pipe, they never changed the setup from this so the pipe fitted on. So I made the pipe on. I made a little bit more extra power on it from four and a half thousand RPMs. Starts really pulling. It's now on three and a half thousand RPM, so it pulls a bit more early. I changed, of course, the tires because the tires were not off-road worthy. Um, so that was the mods I did put some hand guards on. I put uh, the foldable mirrors on. Um, what did I do more? The back brake disc I needed to repair Sinan. I took the liberty to replace that also. But now I'm doing like the high performance stage uh, 6 mods on it. It's like first stage is like the tires, second stage you start talking about exhaust. The airbox I didn't modify yet, but now I'm doing the high grade super upgrades because this bike is not drivable like this. I was not recording it, but um, I started to remove the blue because it's like wind resistance a lot. The blue like slows you down 12.5%. So I'm taking off the blue because it's just like not possible to drive off-road with blue on it. It's like uh, very dangerous also you fall down more like the rocks start jumping on you like the trees like slap you in the face it's like really dangerous I got almost into a few accidents already by this so I'm removing the blue for safety and extra speed and it adds like I think seven and a half percent more ground clearance so that's really important I took off the white already in the front uh, it has like some plates for uh, uh, protecting the front shocks or the part that stays out there I don't know so I removed that made like full carbon set on it it's like extra lightweight to shock front things more better I removed the blue on the front also because it's like not possible to drive around with blue it's just not possible so I'm like getting 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 more and more into the tuning of this bike and like this is a must-have accessory or removal in this case for tuning your bike to the optimal off-road conditions as possible so we just remove as much blue as we can and with the little blue it still is left on I guess I'll have to live with that and Sinan also because he actually doesn't know that I'm modifying the bike like this so just just do it I would say it's the best let's try to remove some more blue blue 
Blues. Blue is terrible. Blue is terrible. Some people like blue, but so no problem. I don't hate people who like blue. I just hate blue itself. And then the rest is all okay for me. Just don't wear too much blue when you're in the nature. Not good for animals. Let's remove it. <laughs> I think I should copy this in carbon, but at least it looks better. It looks better. Only problem I have is this one. It's here, and these bolts take them out and put them back in. It was a very big problem last time. It broke one of the bolts, and we had to drill out the hole. So I'm not sure if I really like happy to take that out again, but I guess I'll have to. I guess it leaves me no choice but to try it. Okay, okay, let's move the bike out of the sun and try to remove the last piece of blue. Ugly blue. successfully removed all the blue now and this is how she looks some new plants in between. I always like to collect some plants. I don't know the name of these plants, but they look awesome, so I just keep collecting it. That the concrete garden here starts to look a little bit more better. And once you get your hands dirty already on a motorbike, you can get them dirty with some nature as well, I think. already what's it doing it's like eating up <laughs> making this dirt liquid and then you just polish this off with a tissue it goes so ridiculously easy good clean with WD-40 it's one of the best hacks I've seen in a long while Clean it off, clean it off. You can think what you want, but this here from this grease from the chain, I'm pretty sure everybody knows who's driving a bike knows what kind of hassle that is to get that stuff off. But now, with this WD-40, it liquefies everything. I think you don't even need to spray that much on it, but... 
little problem with uh, putting like some heavy duty off-road tires on it there's like a plastic mud guard here there's not enough space so it was scraping against this so I just removed it and I'll just have to clean that a little bit more often when I clean my bike after every drive anyway uh, the original chain guard was like no space for that it goes all around the chain so with that open we put like a high grade super sport for making extra speed it's like more aerodynamic as you can see and the red color uh, yeah it was black before it's not too bad just this white piece is annoying me but i cannot like modify the bike too much because it's uh, actually not in my mind <laughs> 